Greetings, America. Welcome to 1984. James Knox here, and this is part two of Waveguide 101. Swirly gigs! Okay, I'm going to show you a drawing here, one of my great pieces of artwork. Okay, on the right side there, we have a rectangular waveguide, and we've got the dimensions X and Y. Right, and we can see that the outside of that is connected to ground. That's a ground field. So X and Y, the tolerances have to be very tight. And then at the end, it is dent tuned, as we discussed earlier, uh, to ensure low visoir. Now, to the left of that, you see a piece of elliptical waveguide. Now, elliptical waveguide is made to specific tolerances and tested at the factory. If you get uh, ultra premium or super premium waveguide, it's going to be 29 dB or better return loss. Okay, the way you turn, you uh, tune a, an elliptical waveguide run is to use a sweep generator and a network analyzer and use a tunable connector or two tunable connectors if you so desire. Uh, it's not necessary and really not recommended. But you can do it to tune for lowest visoire after the installation is complete because you run the waveguide from the building up the tower to the antenna, you terminate it top side, terminate it bottom side, connect it up and there you go. Okay, down on the bottom we have a little microwave rack, right? Down here we have a microwave rack and then we've got our waveguide that goes out to a parabola and to a feed horn. Okay, so we have RF coming up that waveguide and then it spits out, comes swirls around and gets spit back out at that parabola. Now that parabola has a front to back ratio. It means some of the RF does sneak around the back. It's about 55, 60, 65 dB, depending on the type of antennas. We'll get into antennas in, a, in another edition. Okay, and you can think of the, the antenna, you know, the parabola, and the waveguide and the feed horn. Those are all ground, and then the RF comes flying out, and then it bounces off the dish. It comes off the dish, whoops, comes off the dish as a beam. Okay, and then it goes to the other end, and the reverse happens. Okay, that's your RF energy. Sure. Now you can... You know, you go back and read my little notes here and see all this stuff. Fewish. Okay, I'm going to go over them right now because i got to look at them. Okay, now in the elliptical waveguide, the RF is going to actually swirl. It's just the way it works, trust me. You, you don't care about the other part. Okay, and like I said, the waveguide is going to be an E-field, so it's ground. The RF is potential, so it's contained within there. As well, the waveguide on a, a tower acts as a lightning conductor if there is a lightning strike okay but what you do is coming off the antenna you'll have a ground right there and you strip off the jacket on the elliptical you put a ground clamp on it and that'll tie a bolt to the tower and the tower is grounded at the base of the tower to ground rods so every time you get a bend right after the bend you put a ground and then you put a ground about every 200 feet going down a run and then when it goes into the building which is a penetration and when it comes off the tower and then you put a drip loop at the bottom so that any water coming down will drip down now I go into all this because when you install anything at your house like your cable TV or anything else make sure you do these things put a drip loop in anytime you know just like this anytime it's going to go into a house make sure there's a drip loop before the penetration um, and seal those things up just as you know it's it's uh, good things to do okay RF is a potential of energy with locomotive force that will be attracted to the feed horn of the antenna okay I'm putting it this way which is very simple just so that you understand that the energy is being generated at the radio and it wants to get up to the antenna so it just whoosh, and out and then it goes to the other end it's thrown out of the dish and then the other end captures it and the reverse happens and we'll go into that more uh, in another later one as well we talked about den tuning um, you know stuff gets expensive because it has to man be manufactured to very tight tolerances because microwave radiation or microwave radio frequency is in what's known as the millimeter wavelengths so in other words one cycle okay one cycle one 360 degrees okay 90 180 270 360 uh, one cycle that distance so it takes time so how far is that okay that's going to be in millimeters for microwave 
and then we can get into resonance and those things which again I'll talk about that stuff more this gets pretty heavy and real deep I just wanted to kind of discuss how this stuff works people seem to have some interest um, these things yes and some questions you can't just use flex this stuff is horribly lossy and ridiculously expensive um, we don't we want to get these out every time we can and if they're ever put up on the tower they tend to only last for a couple of years uh, in the inclement weather so there's a little more on waveguide and uh, I hope you like this please interact with me please subscribe to my channel all that stuff and interaction I got so much shit rattling around up here if you guys uh, you know, if you tell me what you want me to do, then I kind of know where to go. I'm trying to catch and pick and, and learn. And, you know, and if I suck, tell me. And if there's things I'm doing good, please tell me. You know, I'm a total rookie at this. I'm having fun, but uh, just kind of prodding along. So, peace. God bless America. I love my country. I love my wife, too. Ah, Melanie, I love you, baby.